Hey guys, so this is Gargantia, my new CFD worm farm. And this is Tiensan helping me tearing off the uh, cardboard for the bedding material. So I've started to lay about three to four inch of uh, cardboard here on top of the bars. And uh, I will be putting some more uh, hand cardboard here that I will be pre-soaking in water. And I'm also adding some egg boxes cardboard. These are just like 12 eggs trays. So. And there we go. This is the final place for Gargantua to digest all the kitchen scraps I'm gonna give to the worms. So here there were one, two, three uh, of these beans. Here, I got quite a few of them, as you can see. I will now start to uh, tidy that up a little bit and we'll then finish adding the bedding material to the gargantua. The cardboard has been added and now we'll have to uh, go and shred some paper and uh, collect a bit of uh, old grass clippings from the corner of the garden. Before going to shred some paper, uh, I found this. My mom uh, cleaned up the, uh, the garden for us and uh, put in uh, this little uh, basket all the old leaves, so I'm gonna empty them into the uh, this CFD. There you go. So you could use a little, very cheap five sheets. Uh, paper shredder to shred the uh, the newspaper here or basically just hand tear them about one inch wide and I find that hand tearing the newspaper is quicker than uh, using the shredder because uh, the shredder only accepts an A4 format <coughs> which is too small for the newspaper so you have to basically fold it in half and then target the hole to put it through first if you tear it just like very quick
Alright. I'm now adding the hand torn and shredded newspaper. I mix it up a little bit. You don't have to, but I want a cardboard to also be a bit fluffy with the paper so that the oxygen goes through. Newspaper is easily compacted, whereas the uh, the cardboard is not. So cardboard are uh, actually better for the airflow. I have done here some depth markers every six inch so this one is the the second one from the bottom so this is the 12 inch level uh, that should be where my bedding uh, arrives but I will not get to there because I will be emptying the uh, the existing worm farms uh, bedding in here so that should be uh, getting to the level afterwards There, the garden line. So I will be adding a little bit. Even though the bedding is uh, should be stable, but never know. You can't add too much garden lime because it's uh, neutral in a neutral environment and it's only start to react with an acidic bedding to neutralize it so adding too much should not be a problem there we go, I've added uh, all the bedding materials that I could find and now I'm gonna start uh, emptying the um, existing worm farms so I'm gonna start with this worm cafe here there we go So the top layer should be where the worms are, the feeding tray. But uh, nice one here. This worm farm I've collected from uh, a free cycle uh, community here, and uh, a lady didn't want to use them anymore, so I've salvaged them, and I believe. There is a mix of uh, red wigglers and also blue worms in here. So I don't mind blue worms and they are very good composters so no problem. But uh, So I'm gonna empty that but I will empty the bottom trays first because they have the bedding material that I've added when I received the, uh, the worms. And uh, I will empty these later on. So I've emptied two worm cafes and one worm factory and we have uh, basically covered the 12 inches marker and uh, the bars are still holding yeah. Woo. and this is Worm City
gargantua over there with some mix of uh, red wigglers, blue Indians, and uh, on the green a uh, little worm farm here. It's uh, what I think is purely red wigglers. A wooden uh, crate that I've turned into a worm farm. And here is another mix of red and blues and some European night crawlers here. And these are now four worm farms all empty. I will be uh, donating them to, to the community and uh, some friends. I will be feeding Gargantua probably maybe tonight or tomorrow.